good morning students so a continuation of the previous class system properties today we'll be discussing about time variant and invariant systems systems with memory and without memory and then finally sta stable and unstable systems third one the third type of system that we are going to discuss is time variant and time invariant system and the property is called as time variance property right so uh, a discrete time system uh, you give an input x of n produce an output y of n uh, if you delay it by n not times you are getting the output as y of n minus n not right so x so uh, here we have taken a discrete time system the crux over here is i am taking a system which is applied with an input x of n i am getting an output y of n if you delay that uh, system by n not you will be getting the output as y of n minus n same thing the other perspective is instead of directly passing the input to the system first delay the input by n not right you get the delayed version x of n minus n not is the delayed version of x of n right now what is passed to a system the corresponding output that i am getting is y dash of n right so what are the two parallel uh, conditions we are taking here pass it on to a system and the output you delay you get a corresponding delayed output right that is one perspective second one is input you first delay right then pass on to a system you get an output that is y dash of n if these two y dash of n is equal to y of n minus n not the system is called as time invariant system the meaning is the system does not uh, change the characteristic of a system does not change if it is shifted by time that is called as time invariant system if y dash of n is not equal to y of n minus n not then it is called as time variant system right so Uh, if a system is said to be time invariant, as if a system is said to be time invariant, if a time shift in an input results in identical time shift in output, that's what you are telling. Here, a shift in input, right, results in an identical time shift in an output. So that type of system is called as time invariant, right? Going on to the problems. Check if the system y of t equal to sine into x of t is time variant or time invariant, right? So for this step one, output obtained. So what are the steps to be followed? Uh, we have seen that one is you have to obtain the output by shifting input. That is the second category we saw. First you need to shift the input and then you obtain the output. So that is given here. Output obtained. by shifting input by t not time units so x of t is my input you time shift by t not what i'm getting x of t minus t not so x of t minus t not is the time shifted version of x of t right output obtained by shifting input by t not same thing s yes. that is i have shifted the input here right so because of this shifted input what output i'm getting that is y dash of t which is equal to sin of x of t minus t not because here this is my actual signal y of t equal to sin of x of t right the output that i am getting is y dash of t here what is the change happening instead of x of t i should get it as x of t minus t not right so this is the output obtained by shifting input by t not time limits this is equation number 1 second output is second stage is you have to obtain the output by directly shifting the output by t not time limits right how do you do that uh, here what the hint is very simple hint is in the entire equation wherever you have a t replace it by t minus t not right so i have uh, this is my equation y of t equal to sin of x of t so i am having here uh, in the place of t replace it by t minus t not so sin of x of in the place of t t minus t not right so this is the second so please note the difference between 1 and 2 in the first one the input alone changed based on this input i got this output right in the second one 
the entire equation should be replaced in the place of t, t minus t1. So, this is equation 2. Compare equation 1 and 2. Y dash of t is not, sorry, in this case it is equal to y of t minus t0. Hence, the system is time invariant. Is it clear? So, identical, so the meaning is the shift in input, if you directly shift the input and produce an output or you produce an output and then shift again the output, both are same. That is why the system is time invariant. Moving on to the next one. Check if uh, the system y of n equal to x of n plus n into x of n minus 1 is time variant or time invariant. We have taken a discrete time system here. right? So, put a pause. Try it on by yourself. Follow the same steps. right? So, uh, step 1. Output obtained by shifting input. So, x of n is my input. If I shift it by n0 times, I am getting x of n minus n0. Right? n0 times. Here, you observe that I don't have just one input x of n. I have one more input x of n minus 1. So, that also should be shifted, right? So, what I do is x of n minus n naught. So, this x of n minus 1 naught is a time shifted version of x of n. Next step. If this is same, if this is produces this, then x of n minus 1, if it's my original signal, if it is shifted by n naught, what will I get? x of n minus 1 minus n naught. So, this x of n minus 1 minus n0 is a time shifted version of x of n. So, now because of these shifted inputs, what output I get? That is output obtained by shifting input. So, that is given by y dash of n which is x of n minus n0. See in this original equation, the place of x of n replaced by x of n minus n0 plus n. Don't forget this n. So, n into x of n minus n0 minus 1. So, in the place of x of n minus 1, I am replacing by this, right? So, this is equation number 1. Proceeding on to the second step, output obtained by directly shifting output by t0 time units, right? So, in this case, uh, the entire equation should be replaced, n should be replaced by n minus n0. So, if you replace, you observe that entire equation. So, in this entire equation, n n minus n0, x of n, x of n minus n0. Do not forget this n. n is replaced by n minus n0, x of n minus n0 minus 1. This is equation 2, right? Now you compare equation 1 and 2. What is the difference, right? So here, uh, this n and here, this n minus n0. So this is the difference between these two equations. Both these equations are not equal, right? So, both these two equations are not equal because n here, here I am getting n minus n naught. So, the system is said to be time variant system. The hint here is, the take back from this is, whenever in any system uh, equation, In any system equation, in any uh, I'm just saying, in any system equation, if the given input is multiplied by a time variable n, right? In discrete time it will be n, in continuous time it will be t, right? So if it is multiplied by a time variable, that type of system will be contributed or will be called as time variant system, right? Third type of, next type of system is a static system and a dynamic system. Static system is called a system with the memory and dynamic system is called as system without memory. Right? So, consider a discrete time system, x of n, y of n, static systems. Output of system depend only on present values of input system with the memory. That is, if the output of the system depends only on present value of the system, it is called as system with the memory, right? So, I'm, if I am I'm just remembering what is my current input alone, right? Output is dependent on current input alone. So, dynamic system or memoryless system is one in which um, in which the output depends on past or future values at any instant of time. So, here there should be, there is a mistake. So, here it should be the reverse. Uh, 
A dynamic system is called a system with a memory and a static system is called as memoryless system, right? It is right. So this should be system without memory or it is called as memoryless system, right? Here it is called as system with the memory, right? So because dynamic system will depend on output at any time depends on past or future values. Hence it is called as systems with memory. Whereas in static time, output depends only on present values of input. So this type of system does not have memory, right? So let us move on. Check if the system is static or dynamic. So how do you proceed here? I'm taking here, okay? Uh, I'm take, we, you have to substitute for various values of n, right? So we have taken here y of n is equal to 1. So y of 1 is equal to 2 into x of 1. So you can see that output at any time is dependent on present. And again here it is dependent on present. So output is dependent only on present, right? So for it is not only for 1. You take any value, right? It will be seen that output is dependent only on present values of input. Hence the system is called a static or a system without memory. Right. So, uh, like this you can uh, uh, go into other problems also. Uh, last type of property is called as a stability. The systems are called as stable and unstable systems. So, what is called as stability? So, a system is said to be both stable. Bounded input, bounded output. If and only if every bounded input produces a bounded output for all values of t in case of continuous and n in case of discrete. So what is called as is bounded bounded. So bounded is something which is finite, which does not go into infinity. So a system which has a bounded input, if it produces a bounded output, then it is called a stable system. If you have a system and the input is bounded input, but it produces an unbounded output, then that type of system is called as unstable system, right? So for continuous time system, if the bounded input, right, what is the input here? X of t. Why I am telling it as bounded is this x of t can take any value between minus mu x and mu x. It's just a constant. It can be negative or positive. But the point is, if it has to be bounded, mu x should be should not be equal to infinity. That is why we have given greater than minus infinity and lesser than infinity. That is, it is not equal to infinity or this mu x value is a finite value, right? So, if this type of bounded input, right, it is not only for one value of t. This condition should hold for all values of t. That is very important. So, for all values of t, if the given input is bounded, and it is applied to a system and it produces an output, right? It should produce an output for all value of t such that the output y of t should lie in the range between minus mu y to mu y where this value of mu y should not be infinity. If it is not infinite and if it is a finite value, then that type of system is called as Bibo stable system, right? So, in first case, mu x, uh, the x of t has a value mu x. It can be negative or positive, but it should be finite. And if it is applied to a system and it produces an output y of t, it can be a positive value or negative value. But that value should not be an infinite value. It should be a finite value. If that type of output is produced, where a bounded input produces a bounded output, then the system is called as Bibo stable, right? Then the same thing extends for discrete, right? Instead of x of t, we are going to put it as x of n. So bounded input, so x of n and then mu x, same, produces bounded output. For all n, the system is stable, right? The system is said to be unstable if every bounded input produces an, is said to be unstable if it produces a, unbounded output it's given here as bounded it should be unbounded output for all values of t or n right so this is how you have to or this is the uh, idea behind uh, stable and unstable systems so 
அவங்க மூவிங் ஆன் இட்டு ப்ராப்ளம் செக் ஃபார் த ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் த சிஸ்டம் ஒய் ஆஃப் டி ஈக்குவல் டு இ பவர் எக்ஸ் ஆஃப் டி ரைட் இப்போ ஹவு டு யூ செக் சேம் மெத்தடாலஜி ஸோ சொல்யூஷன் கிவன் சிஸ்டம் இஸ் ஒய் ஆஃப் டி ஈக்குவல் டு இ பவர் எக்ஸ் ஆஃப் டி ஸோ எக்ஸ் ஆஃப் டி இஸ் பை இன்புட் ரைட் so bounded input i have to assume right here i have to assume that my input x of t should be bounded so x of t bounded what is a bounded value it can be any value from mu minus mu x to mu x and also it should be a finite value for all t right in that case it produces what y of t right what is the value of mu y you know that the equation is y of t equal to e power x of t right in the place of e power x of t you write e power minus mu x why because x of t takes the value in negative minus mu x so in the place of x of t i am putting e power minus mu x similarly this side e power plus mu x so this y of t will have value between e power minus mu x and e power plus mu x right so this e power minus mu x is nothing but what minus mu y e power plus mu x is nothing but what mu y right where mu now i am writing the condition here that see i am concluding that mu y is finite it is not infinite how will i tell it is not infinite that is a important point the point here is i have given here that mu x is said to be finite right so automatically e power a finite value will also be finite e power a finite value will also be what finite value that is why minus mu y and mu y is also finite and we are writing mu y is greater than minus infinity to less infinity for all values of t right so we are concluding that this is a bounded output right so since bounded input produces bounded output the system is bebo stable this is a method in which you have to work out for stability right so what we have done is just to uh, give you a picture uh, for exam point of view analytically this is enough just to give you a picture what we have done what i have done is graphically i have calculated i have taken a, a, a graphical calculation i have taken my input as sine wave that is x of t i have taken it as a sine input right we know very well that sine t is a bounded input it has finite values right it does not go to infinity right it is just a simple sin t is a bounded input so e power sin t when you ca calculate this is a corresponding output that i am obtaining and this output is also at any point of time you take from any point of time it does not go to infinity right so in this case x of t if it is passed to e power x of t see y of t is e power sin t so it produces a bounded output and the system is said to be stable right so this is just to give you an idea of what is called as bounded input will produce a bounded output right then check for stability of the system y of n equal to n into log of x of n so y of n is equal to n into log of x of n right so bounded input same procedure so x of discrete time system so we are taking x of n we are assuming that the input is bounded so x of n lies between minus mu x and plus mu x and it is mu x is finite for all values of n if this is applied to the system it produces y of n right so look what you have to write for y of n in the place of n into log of n i am writing it as n into log of in the place of x of n we are replacing it by actually it should be uh, minus mu x over here it should be minus mu x over here and here it should be plus mu x right so whatever it is right log of a finite value log of a finite value log of a finite value will be finite log of a finite value will be finite right but what about this term this is nothing but n right you can see that mu y it is getting multiplied by n we have to check this for all values of n what will happen when n becomes infinite when n becomes infinite even though this is going log of mu x is going to be finite infinite multiplied by finite will be what infinite only the same thing holds over here also right so what happens is because the system is multiplied by a time factor n right 
automatically the output y of n becomes infinite when n becomes infinite. So we can tell that this here we, we know right this is nothing but uh, mu y equal to n into log of mu x. So this is unbounded output because when n goes to infinity automatically mu y will also go into infinity. So as n tends to infinity mu y tends to infinity bounded input produces unbounded output and hence the system is unstable. Right take a pause just uh, try to understand this particular problem. So uh, again the hint here is whenever uh, given input right is multiplied by a factor of time right in that case the system will become unstable right. So practice problem uh, you can take up this problem y of n equal to even into x of n minus 1. So you need to find the even part of it and you have to verify for all properties of the system. Thank you.